Hi you guys! I still haven't worked out an intro, so hi you guys is gonna have to do. This is gonna be our first beginner's makeup video and we are gonna be focusing on base makeup. This is obviously gonna be a full coverage, affordable situation, so if you're a beginner struggling with base makeup, I am gonna throw every tip and trick I have at you. Also, quick disclaimer, this is the very first real video that I have ever recorded in my life, so if something is wrong with the focus or the audio, something like that, I'm so sorry. Please let me know so I can fix it for next time. And now let's get to it. So obviously you wanna make sure your skin is clean, exfoliated, moisturized, just so everything sits nicely and doesn't cling onto any dry patches. Now, if I am being real and honest and open and vulnerable with you, I don't think primer makes a difference. Like, I just don't, I don't know. But maybe I'm just using bad primers, but if you're a beginner, I think you're gonna be just fine without this. So for foundation, we're gonna use the Milani Conceal Imperfect. This is the best foundation ever. <laughs> and always make sure you're shaking all of your liquid products just to mix them up. You'll also want some sort of dense brush. This is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. This is my favorite for foundation. And you're gonna wanna start where you want the most coverage and blend outward. Also, make sure your foundation matches your neck and your chest, not your face. I know this is way darker than my face because I bathed in self-tanner last night but make sure it matches your neck. Now on areas where you crease, for me it's right here and kind of up here, you wanna go really lightly and try not to put too much product there or it's gonna crease really badly. And make sure you're blending into your hairline too so you don't get that line across your head. A couple other random foundation tips. If your foundation is oil-based, you wanna not use a sponge with it because obviously oil and water don't mix. And make sure you're choosing the product for your skin type. If you have very dry skin, you probably wanna avoid anything that says matte. If you're very oily, you probably wanna avoid dewy things. I feel like this is a very middle of the road sort of foundation. My skin tends to fluctuate a lot with the seasons and this one I feel like works all the time. Not sponsored. Okay, concealer, this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Chemo Concealer. I really, really love this one. You wanna get just a couple shades lighter than your foundation shade. So this is my foundation, this is my concealer. And just put that on areas that you wanna highlight or bring forward. And if it looks like a lot, it is. <laughs> so this is the placement that I do. Make sure you're working for your face shape or whatever your desired effect is though. So I like to let my concealer sit for a second just to thicken up and I feel like that gives it more coverage. So and I'm gonna blend it with this very flat, very dense Sonia Kashuk brush that honestly I don't like because it's very scratchy. And I like to blend the little parts first. So like this and then this and just go like little to big because obviously these bigger parts are going to take a little bit longer to thicken up and get that coverage and when you're blending especially under your eyes you want to do padding motions like this never just swipe and if you want that sort of like lifted snatched sort i hate that word snatched sort of look you want to bring it up onto your temple like this, almost like a wing shape. Moving right along to contour, this is the NYX Wonder Stick. I love the contour side of this, I hate the highlight side of it. But whatever you pick, you wanna make sure it is cool toned, almost like a grayish. Now powder contouring is gonna be a whole lot easier for beginners, but I wanted to show you like everything in this video, so we're gonna do cream contouring too. And again, you wanna do this for your desired effect. Don't just blindly follow trends, unless you like it. For example, everyone will tell you to put it way down here, like in the hollows of your cheeks. Personally, I don't like to do that because I feel like I already have such a like angular face. So I like to put it like on my cheekbones and then blend downwards. I also contour the heck out of the tip of my nose for obvious reasons, let's be real. <laughs> and then I feel like my forehead is like ever so slightly wide, so I like to go right here just on the sides. So to blend all the little parts, aka this, I'm using a very small, dense brush. I got this one from Claire's. <laughs> I wish I was lying, but it's a great brush. And to blend these bigger areas, I'm just using another one of those e.l.f. Um, Ultimate Blending Brushes. And what I like to do is I like to blend this part upwards to about here, and blend this part downwards to about here and leave a little gap for that concealer so you don't just cover up that wing shape that you did. Okay, moving on to powder. I like this one, I know, okay, I know. It's bad for you and it has talc in it and this and that. We all pick our battles, okay, and this is mine. But I've also heard that Maybelline Fit Me is a really good one, I just haven't tried it yet. So I'm just gonna dump some of that into the lid. Oh God. 
Okay, so we have two brushes on our hands, okay? So first I'm taking a little powder brush that the handle has broken off of, and I'm putting a generous amount of powder on it. Okay, this is important. So as you're doing your makeup, it's gonna crease. Like, your face is moving, it's makeup, it's just how it is. So we're gonna re-blend it. So we're gonna pull this down and just sort of re-blend with the tip of these bristles. Try not to move too much, and just press this under here just to set everything. And just repeat that in any places that have already creased. So now we're gonna take a big giant fluffy brush. This is another e.l.f. one complexion brush and just lightly, lightly set everywhere else. And as you're doing that, also blend away any of the excess powder that we put in the creases. Okay, so for contour, I like to use a straight up gray powder. This one's from Sephora. I think it's called, Tran yeah, Tranquil. This one's been discontinued, but I think they have one exactly like it. It's about drugstore price, if not just the tiniest bit more expensive. And I have just an angled fluffy brush. These wooden handle ones, by the way, I don't know the brand. It rubbed off a long, long time ago. The placement is just the same as the creams. I like to put it on my cheekbone here and on the side of my forehead, kind of going around the perimeter a little bit. And then I'm taking a smaller essential beauty, just a smaller little fluffy brush just to do the smaller areas. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm using this Profusion palette from Walmart. It's $5, it's pretty good, and a fluffy brush that the handle has broken off of, so I don't know what brand it is. So first, I'm gonna put this on my cheekbones just right in front of that contour and just kind of blend it into it. And I'm also gonna put it right kind of in front of and under the forehead contour and blend it into that. Now, as far as blush, this is a single from a brand that has long been discontinued, which is kind of sad. If you are cool toned, get a cool toned one. If you're warm toned, get a warm toned one or just get whatever you like. But for beginners, I do recommend one with kind of a low pigment level because those really pigmented ones can be a little bit hard to blend in. And again, go with your face shape or go with whatever effect you want. I'm putting mine right above my bronzer and just kind of blending it down into it and going up towards my temples. Now, as far as placement, if you want your face to look wider, you could go kind of on the apples of your cheeks and over your nose. I just think that's really cute. And if you went way overboard like I did, you can take your powder brush and just blend right over the top of it. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow in Blossom Glow. It's like this sort of pinky shade. And I'm using this brush that is like fluffy but angled at the same time. Just use whatever you have. So first I'm gonna put that right under the arches of my eyebrows and in the inner corners of my eyes and on my cupid's bow. I put it on the tip of my nose too, but I don't put it on the very tip. I put it kind of up a little bit just to give the illusion that it's a little more lifted than it is. So that's just an example of doing things for the effect you want and not just doing what everyone else is doing. So now I take a little bit of a fluffier brush. This one's from Ulta. Dip back into that highlighter. And I just put this on the top of my cheekbones and blend out that eyebrow highlighter with it. I also like to highlight right here between my eyes because in my brain, it draws more attention to my eyes and I just think it looks pretty. Now, if you want this to look more natural, if you have any sort of freckles or anything, you can grab a little tiny pencil brush like this and just any sort of brown eyeshadow and put your freckles back. So I have one right beside my eye right here that I like to put back. And I have one right here. So for setting spray, I really like the, I'm not sure how to pronounce this brand, Amorous or Amorous, A-M-O-R-U-S. Their Mist and Lock setting spray, it's so good. It smells like cucumbers. Now you wanna do setting spray, but <laughs> obviously before mascara and ideally after lipstick because it can help your lipstick stay on longer too. Um, I haven't done my lipstick yet, but definitely do it before mascara. Okay, now I'm gonna go finish this. It'll be a while for me. It'll be just a split second for you. And we're back. I hope this was even a little helpful for someone out <laughs> for someone out there. Please let me know what you wanna see next. Now you say something. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for hanging out with me for my first real video. If you like it, subscribe or don't. I'm not a beggar. I'll be seeing you next week with another beginner's makeup video. I'm not sure which one yet, but Either way, I'll see you then. Bye.